You come hither, my lord, to marry this lady. No. <laughs> to be married to her. <laughs> you come to marry her. <laughs> lady, you come hither to be married to this count. I do. If either of you have any inward impediment why you should not be conjoined, I charge you on your souls to utter it. Know you any hero? None, my lord. Know you any count? I dare make his answer. None. <laughs> Stand thee by, friar. Father, by your leave, will you with free and unconstrained soul give me this maid, your daughter? As freely, son, as God did give her me. And what have I to give you back, whose worth may counterpoise this rich and precious gift? Nothing, unless you render her again. Sweet prince, you learn me noble thankfulness. <laughs> no, enough! Take her back! Give not this rotten orange to your friend. She's but the sign and semblance of her honor. Behold how like a maid she blushes here. Would you not swear? Or you can see her that she were a maid by these exterior shows. But she is none. She knows the heat of a luxurious bed. What do you mean, my lord? Not to be married. Not to knit my soul to an approved wanton. No! Dear my lord, if you in your own proof have vanquished the resistance of her youth and made defeat of her virginity... No, Leonardo! I never tempted her with word too large. But as a brother to his sister, showed bashful sincerity and comely love. And seemed I ever otherwise to you. You seem to me as Diane in her orb. But you are more intemperate in your blood than Venus. Oh, Pampered animals that rage in savage sensuality. <laughs>